Hi guys and welcome back to another episode. I like never do sit down videos, I feel like I've only done one. All my other videos are like vlogs. So this is gonna be fun, especially because I meant to stop yapping, so let's hope this video isn't two hours long. I'm Barley if you're new here. TikTok, I've been doing a lot of meal inspiration. So I thought it'd be fun to do a more in-depth YouTube video on how I meal plan for the week. A lot of dotes, if you know, you know. I did an iced coffee, like, you know the whipped iced coffees back in lockdown? I made one of them. And we do have a little cocktail can that I had with dinner. This video is going to be in two parts. One, me taking you through me doing my grocery shop, because grocery I am in America. My weekly shop, because I actually get a food delivery every Sunday. And then part two will be tomorrow when my food comes and I'll give you a little haul. And then if I am, I don't know if I'm meal prepping tomorrow, but if I'm meal prep, whenever I'm meal prep, I'll show you. And show you my notion because that is how I like to do my weekly planning, including my meal prep. Meal prep, meal, meal planning. Here we've got my weekly planner. I'm currently doing my notion up. So this is a real nice, easy setup. Throughout the week, a little habit I do. I'll save like TikTok videos, Pinterest recipes. I'll just have a little look at Pinterest and save any recipes I like the look of. And like screenshotting anything as well. Um, like if I'm watching a YouTube video. I was simply going to go through and jot down any of the things I've seen in the ideas. I'm also going to add on like meals that I've been craving. So a while back I did chicken, sausage and veg and that was a really yummy meal. I like to keep it quite simple and what's very good is the fact that Josh has the same breakfast and lunch every single day. So that's really easy for me. And usually I'd go through my phone but I'm videoing on my phone so. Whew, break it. Oscar got a grid penalty in F1. That means we've got Ferrari 2-3. 2-3? 3-4. Do you care? So this is not an F1 video. So on my Pinterest, which I will link below, I've got a Good Eats board where I've saved a bunch of stuff. What have we got in here? Usually I get all overwhelmed, so I just write down as many recipes as possible and then I'll then I'll split it up. Now I've got a list of ideas here. Aside from, I haven't added my usuals in. Um, I will shrimp them over if I actually want to have them. So chicken, veg and sausage I know is something I want for lunch. Um, protein lava cake might be a snack. My favourite snacks at the moment is almond butter dates. So I know I will be having them. Um, pears are apparently really high in fibre. So I might have some pears this week. And then a breakfast option, I do like the idea of that. Mm -hmm. I've got one direction stuck in my head. Laying here, I count the hours. And I follow Zoe Nutrition. And they just follow, shared a recipe of the first episode of Lunch Without the Slump. And I don't think I'd have it as a full on lunch, but I think I'd have it as like a side salad for lunch and dinner, which I can like prep and just have a few tablespoons of that with dinner um i don't know if i want so obviously not obviously you don't know this i have the barley special eggs avocado watch my tiktoks and you'll see i mention this in basically every single what i eat in a day chili oil scrambled eggs some with a golden yolker mm -hmm. avocado on sourdough usually and as i'm meal prepping it's usually a bagel or a muffin top of hot honey that's a barley special and I have that like every single day. I said this at the start. But I like to focus on whole foods, high protein, high fiber. And I have actually deleted my calorie counter app um, this week. And I'm trying to focus on eating a lot more intuitively. Um, and I think my next video is going to be sort of me eating, sort of me doing that for a week. Okay. Now that I've decided that, that's all laid out, go to my Tesco app, because that's where we do our weekly shopping. I can mentally go through my head what ingredients I need. So yeah, simply with that list, and if you're going to the shops, you do the same, you could write, I would probably, because obviously I can just sit down on my laptop and go through Tesco's and add what I need and make some changes where needed, check downstairs. I would, if you're going to the shops, just write it all down. 
because you can go i just go through each and everything so i start with okay cool well first of all what's good about like when you do an online shop is they tell you what you usually get so i usually go through there add everything i know i need and then i'll go through each meal and go okay do i need that do i need that so you could do the same with your shopping list um i do recommend online shopping online shopping yes online grocery shopping is what i meant but online shopping also yeah um and i think that's all i kind of really need to show you right now because all i'm gonna do is go through this myself um make some tweaks and changes and i shall see you tomorrow when the grocery haul arrives so i know that i just want to add is i usually go to the um like bed section and add any veg that i do like i usually still don't try to get to knowledge of like what's highest in fiber that's what i try and prioritize but this week i've made like a lentil soybean black bean like mix and i don't mind that cold so i've kind of just add that to like any dish or i'll just snack on it um because i know that that's a good amount of fiber and that's kind of what i prioritize but also apparently it's good for you gut health to get over 30 different plants so i should try and do that also another little tip is using chat gpt yeah it might take over the world i'm aware earlier on today josh made a steak for himself and we wanted to add some mustard somehow um so I just asked chat gpt what um you know what we could do we just came up with this one little recipe as a dip good morning it's sunday aka this because sunday is a reset till day shops just arrived so as i promise i'm gonna take you through it um, let's hope I have to do it in a logical way. Eggs. Good. Why are you laughing? The onion cheese. Those chips look like they're going to eat That's not too small, is it? Like I said, I have eggs, avocado, or some variation of that every single day. So I go for loads of eggs. And what I do recommend is these golden yolkers. I usually like to mix them with the normal ones. They are a little bit on the expensive side but they taste unreal and just I actually don't know why they why they're golden what's your guess Josh? Mm -hmm. I think it's to do some sort of vitamin 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 we're going to dairy next <sighs> some of the dairy creme fraiche for Josh's bacon creme fraiche kefir for my breakfasts breakfasts is breakfasts 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 Breakfast, is it? Oh, loads of breakfast. There you go. Um, I'm going to be using these for my pancakes and my fruit granola bowls. Some Greek yogurt for my chia pudding. And probably might add them into some variation of what I just said. Mozzarella for some pizza. I'm going to do sourdough, but I make my own homemade base. Some cheddar for carbonara. Josh makes less carbonara. He's just been waking up, so lack of energy. Oh wait, Josh, can you show me what, what's going in the freezer? Chips and ice cream for Josh. <laughs> I love this brand of alternative milk. I don't, I'm not dairy free as you can tell, uh, but I do like, and this is not processed. It's only three ingredients, which is water, almonds, and sea salt. Also got some milk for Josh, and sometimes I'll have that in my teas and coffees, kind of depends. What I'm in the mood for. Did I just say teas and coffees? I don't have tea in my coffee. Fresh produce is next. Produce? Is that easy? I don't know if I can speak this morning. Uh, what have we got? Apples. Josh has these um, for lunch every day. Pineapple has a little snacky snack. Might have that chia pudding. But I think I'm instead going to be trying raspberry for my chia pudding instead today. Or this week. And then we've also got... I hate that they come in this bag. We've also got some pears because apparently they're high in fibre. And what are these? We've also got some onions for my chicken sausage and veg roasted situation. Do you want your brioche? No retreats up to death. Mm. Excellent raspberries. When I go into the fridge to put this all away, I make sure just to be aware of what I have left to reduce any wastage. Um, so that I prioritise that in the first few meals of the week. Mm. 
more fresh produce. Avocados. Every single day, you know, you know. Um, I don't know how ripe they are, so I think I'm going to keep them out. Because I usually need a few days to ripen before I can use them. Salad. I like to use the butterhead salad. Mushrooms for... So that's just for a bit of everything with most meals. And this is for my like chicken sausages. Broccoli, same, I just cook that off and won't add it to anything. I think I ordered garlic, I didn't know if I needed garlic. Peppers for that roast chicken dish. I actually don't know what's in here. Oh, an aubergine. Also for that roast chicken, right, chicken sausage dish. So I'm gonna have my, this is, I just use this tub for my chia pudding and I'm just adding the pineapple from this in it and I'm just gonna snack on my breakfast whilst I put this on the way. So Josh's lunch, he has chicken and rice every single day and we add one of these like blue dragon or two, we add like these. Um, and this is the hoist and garlic flavor that he likes. Um, we've got some Dijon mustard for a bit of everything. Kimchi, obviously good for your gut health. Some hummus. Um, I'm making, I think I said that Zoe Nutrition shared a recipe and that's part one of the ingredients and then I'll also have it for dinner tonight. We're doing a bit of everything. We've got some barbecue uh, chicken drumsticks that I said from the butchers and some sausages left from the butchers. Um, and I think only that with some lentil crisps, some hummus and some salad. Almond butter, because I'm going through it so much at the moment. And some chickpeas also for that Zoe recipe. And again, with my almond butter, um, I do make sure it's, on most of these, I try and make sure that we're just getting normally, not processed stuff or ultra processed. So this is literally just 100% almonds, which we love to see. Um, same like the hummus, this is actually an organic one. It's sunflower oil, some tahini, you don't need to know. We also have some granola, because I'm doing that granola yogurt bowl. Uh, but yeah, this has no preservative or additive, so I believe, yeah, this is just oats. Date syrup, raisins, almonds, sunflower oil, maple syrup, sunflower seeds, orange juice, pineapple seeds, coconut chips, and cinnamon. Got some fish, salmon for that pasta I told you about. And then this is my favorite for sea bass it comes with like a lemon butter thing lemon and herb lemon pepper and thyme butter and that fries very nicely and then i add just any veg that i have i pop i pop a bit of it on the screen of what it's like sausages chicken sausages these are a little bit more uh processed than i'd like I if i end up meal prepping much today i don't do much meal prep if i'm honest just because I try and repeat meals because I think that's easier. All my meals are really quick. So like, just the final carbs. This is mainly Josh's, so as you just saw, he has a pack of these brioches on the weekend. Sub rolls for some chicken rolls. I don't know if I'm having one of these because um, they are very processed, but I don't, I don't, really, I don't completely cut up processed stuff. I try and do like the 80-20 principle. But I might just make my own little roll. Some rice as well for the chicken and rice. The recipes, I've already got some bits and bobs in the house. So this isn't everything for my meal for the week. So I, next week you will be seeing hey, what I eat in a week of someone who's trying to focus on whole foods, high fiber, high protein, but also has just deleted their calorie counter out. And is trying to eat a bit more intuitively and improve their relationship with food. Not that my relationship with food is bad, but English. Anyway, that's that. I don't think I have anything else to say. Uh, there's a few bits and bobs in my shop that you don't really care about. Um, yum. I'll see you next week. If you want any of these recipes, is all I'm trying to say. Watch next week's video. Thanks for watching and like, subscribe, and all that YouTube stuff.